I've had my Nexstar 8 GPS uh, upgraded to the latest hand controller lately, and I wanted just a little bit more. So um, I decided to uh, add a piggyback mount to be able to include cameras, smartphones, and tablets. After some research, I found the Celestron piggyback mount for Nexstar 5, 6, and 8SE on uh, Amazon, and I ordered that. This stock footage image shows how the adapter is supposed to sit on the telescope. A small bracket piece screws into the holes on the OTA, and then the adapter sits on top of that. But in doing so, two of the holes necessary for mounting the standard Orion finder mount are gone. They're consumed by the adapter, and I wanted to have that finder mount also. I tried to install the original Orion-style finder mount, on top of the bracket, but the space wasn't right. It, it wouldn't fit into the area allowed. But luckily I had a Botter finder mount that was thinner and that fit into the space that was available. So with the Botter mount installed, I was able to reinstall my finder on top of the piggyback adapter. There are a lot of different ways to attach a smartphone to a tripod bolt. I happen to have the Joby grip type. This shows an old iPhone 4 in the Joby running Sky Safari Pro, but the Joby can also hold my iPhone 6 with its case. Here you can see the smartphone on top of the adapter and the finder on top of the adapter, both doing their jobs with plenty of room to spare. I'll probably use the piggyback adapter with my Canon DSLR and various lenses. The lens in this photo is a very wide 8mm. This final image shows the finder and the camera with live view. The project was a little bit of work, but in the end it all came out and I'm happy with the result.